Hello there, my name is Alan Russell and I've been in Romania recently talking about some of the strategic directions that we're seeing in the market around the use of analytics. I think one of the key things that we're seeing is that after the crisis, people are really taking a closer look at how they manage their businesses, how they make decisions, and analytics plays a key role in that. That has one knock-on effect, and that is that analytics is now becoming an enterprise undertaking rather than the cottage industry undertaking that it's been up until now. What do we mean by that? Up until now, analytics has typically been done in business units by individuals sometimes even, and hasn't really been recognized as a corporate asset. With the advent of analytics as an enterprise undertaking, we need to look at a number of things. We need to look at, of course, the tools we use, but we also need to look at the governance and at the staffing and at the organization of how we use analytics. There's a very useful tool called the value map that we can use to take a view over all the business process groups that we have in the company and to try to understand what value would we get out of making improvements of them by using analytics. We can help you work with that value map to figure out how it would look for your organization. And that really gives you an opportunity to prioritize, to justify, to build a business case around about how you're going to use analytics to improve your business. If we think about analytics and how that uh, applies to today's economic situation, I think there is some feeling that we should just be cutting everywhere in the business, um, getting back to basics and, and not doing anything at all really apart from cutting back. I don't think that's right. If we do that, there will never really be a recovery. One of the places that we see a use of analytics is round about more strategic decision making. What lines of business are we actually going to be keeping going with? Where do we see profitability? Where do we see loss? And how can we expand on those things? I think we can make use of analytics in a number of different contexts in terms of how we do decision making. We can, of course, do operational type decisions, stuff like what kind of price should I charge this customer for that loan? That's going to let us make our operational processes become more efficient, more profitable as we go um, through that, that process. The second area is around about more tactical type things. What kinds of products should we be bringing to market in the next few months? How should we be actually deciding on um, cost reductions perhaps for particular lines of business that we're taking to the customer. And then of course there's more strategic decisions which are the kinds of things that we're trying to take today as we try to come out of the recession about what lines of business should we continue to invest in, um, where should we go with our business and analytics can help in all of those different areas.